this massive tree has been here attached to the clothesline since I was a baby and it's always been this big just a massive lovely tree she's always been a big huge grower of things and growing up living with her um we always had a garden of some kind and there was always plants and she was always tinkering around she had her little wheelbarrow out today and um she's 88 this year she'll be 89 this year actually all these really cool plants and and things this is the new flower bed that she's been working on and i have no green thumb at all i always joke and tell people that i am the plant hospice worker but aren't they just lovely i mean i just she gets these really pretty plants that just bloom now this plant right here's they call these four clocks and the blooms actually close up and don't reopen until four o'clock they'll open up at four o'clock in the afternoon but aren't they just the prettiest just the prettiest things that she has growing here and she feeds the the birds and the squirrels and there's a pretty little butterfly that's on everything which is pretty awesome because my sister that passed away's birthday is on father's day tomorrow and um she loved butterflies so i kind of will take that as a hint to her that she's hanging around us today Nothing but farmland, as far as the eye can see. Very lovely, pretty, pretty day. The blueberries are not quite ripe just yet, but they're getting there. And this whole entire ginormous blueberry bush will be busting open with blueberries as long as the birds will leave it alone we'll be able to have some pies and cakes Eighty-eight years old and just, <laughs> just as stubborn as ever. She's still gonna do it herself, but that's all right. We let them do just as long as they can. She got to show you how, and then she's gonna show him how for the next five minutes, and then the hole will be dug. <laughs> oh, she's a mess. Poodle, you might have ought to get out of there, girl. You digging Granny's flower bed, you're gonna have a bad day. What's that, Granny? 
So Granny said these was geraniums and they were about half dead, but they brought them over here and now you see there's roots and green growth coming up. So that's, that's cool. Why don't you let them do that? Yeah. Colby can, um, can dig that up for you and get all that stuff done. That way you ain't hurting your back or nothing. Wait a don't do it like that. Okay, well. I dig a hole anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, okay. Let me see your original. If you can't get that close to it, let me do it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do the same thing over there. Gigi, we don't need you. Come here, Gigi. There it goes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Gigi. Lay that in that first hole. Just lay it down right there. What kind of plant is that? It's this, uh. Oh, Gigi, get out of there. Clementus. Oh, the Clementus vine. Clementus. Yeah. Clementus I have. Put that one on that one. <sighs> that one goes right there. So we this separate goes, them. This is going to have to go with that one because it's a little one. Let's see. Yeah. Separating them. I really you got to keep them separated. <laughs> I really so. And then it's going to run up here on this fence, that gate. And those blooms will be oh, so pretty. Oh, Lord, look at that. Squirrel head. Squirrel head. <laughs> Crazy squirrels. There's another one right in here. Lord, see, look. <laughs> oh, Lord, there. About to have walnut. That's why they were digging it there. They were trying to get to it. Mm -hmm. That's funny. I'm just trying to think why there are walnuts in there. The squirrels put them there. They dig in the plants and. They dig in the potted plants and everything. They're cute to watch, but they are varmints. And, um, out here is the family cemetery. I love the smell of gardenias, and she has this lovely gardenia bush. This bush is really old, and she keeps it trimmed back, and she's replanted it two or three times. And we come out here while I go and found two or three. Of the, um, cl those clematis vines, or whatever you call them? Clement, clematis, yeah. Huh. Yeah, let me show you something. Here, here. Where's it at? Cause I'm Right there, you. It's a bunch. See it right there? Oh, yeah. Well, GG. Let me that grab and hold. You mean these? See, he cuts them with the lawnmower and they get bunches and they're hard. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you get this. You're talking about some roots. The Clementus vines was out here in a pure yard just growing wild. Ain't that something? See the roots we just set out there? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that's one of them. Oh, that's pretty. But it'll come out. In a little while, you can see it over in that dirt, and it'll come out there. Huh. They're all in here right there. Well, ain't that something? Yeah. Been... But it's for the seed come up. Yeah. When I had that big one on that fence. 
Yeah. It got so big to my fence stand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do get mm -hmm. kind of big. <clears throat> Away. No, oh, got to save it. If you don't spend enough time with your elders and helping your elders and your family, they don't live forever and they'll be gone. Then you'll have nobody to confide in and nobody to talk to and nobody to help teach you things. Hope you guys enjoyed my little home vlog, as we like to call them. Um, and it's true, if you don't spend any time with your elders or your parents or people who are like your parents, you know, they don't live forever. And, you know, they do teach you a lot of good things, things that we may not want to learn, but most of the time it's a good lesson. And they've lived longer than we have, and they've seen a lot of changes. So I always like to talk to Granny and ask her questions and ask her things because it's really good to to do that because one day, you know, she may not be here and I may not have the opportunity to do that. So while I can and while she's still here, we do. Plus, it's good for my family to be able to take my boys over there as often as we do, which is a lot during the week, and help her out when she needs it. She doesn't even have to ask. You know, this lady raised me from eight years old right on up to adulthood. She raised a lot of people. She had four children of her own. She raised five that weren't hers and took a big part in helping raising not only me, but a lot of the other grandchildren, you know, nieces, great nieces, you name it, nephews, she's done it all. So we give back and we help because it's the right thing to do. And, you know, if you have people in your life that are kind of like parents, grandparents, or friends, whatever, whoever they are, take the time to just give back to them a little bit because they did contribute so much to your life. And I'm glad I can do that with my boys. And I'm glad that she's still able to get around and about and do. So um, I like to do that. So if you, can, if you can do that, pay it forward do that they have a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge and a lot of stuff that they can still teach us even though sometimes i think as humans and our ages differ we kind of like to think we know a little bit more than they do but in the end i think they're wiser than we are so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog today and um thanks for subscribing thanks for watching be sure to check out the Patreon channel. Go to ChrissyOshow.com if you want to find out more about me and what I do. Check me out there. Go check out all the partner channels that I have there. And um, we'll see y'all later. Have a good day. Go help somebody else besides yourself. Mm -hmm.